Hi, welcome to Automate, I'm Clint. Although supplemental restraint systems first made an appearance at the beginning of the 1980s, very few manufacturers chose to install them as factory equipment. The airbag was designed to supplement already installed seatbelt restraint systems. The SRS module determines the severity of a collision with the assistance of impact sensors located at strategic points on the vehicle. The module will only deploy the airbags and pretensioners if it detects a collision of sufficient force. If the force of the impact is not sufficient to warrant airbag deployment, the control module may deploy the seatbelt pretensioners only. The two most common types of impact sensors are piezoelectric and capacitive. One contains a piezoelectric element that distorts during a collision. It generates an analog voltage in relation to the severity of deceleration forces. This element can also sense the direction of the impact force. The capacitive type is designed similar to a capacitor. Some of the capacitor plates are fixed, while others are mounted to a movable seismic mass. If the seismic mass is moved in the event of an accident, the capacitor's value changes. This information is processed by evaluation electronics and sent to the SRS control module. As the squib burns, it reacts with the igniter charge of barium potassium nitrate. Combined, this is a very fast acting explosive compound. This explosion creates the necessary heat to begin the chemical reaction within the gas generator. Two separate chemicals make up the fuel for the gas generator sodium azide and cupric oxide. If you would like to continue learning about this topic and get complete access to our extensive video library, you need an Automate membership. Visit our website and get started on a better future with better training.